everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, my name is Liz, I post four beauty related videos a week and it's always including makeup, maybe some clothing hauls and try on hauls, but in this video, I am so, so unbelievably happy with what I'm about to show you because Revolution have collaborated with friends and they have a whole collection and this is just round one so you do know when round two comes out I'm definitely getting it but I thought I'd unbox all of round one I'm actually wearing on my face one of the collections which will be coming on Tuesday but yeah you might guess by when we open the palettes which one's used and what I've done but yeah let's just get straight into this video because I thought instead of doing this in like my August well well, not in August, September buys at the end of the month, I'd show you now um, in a video all dedicated to it and then each day of this week, so this is going up on Sunday um, and each day of the week I'm going to be doing a different look using a collection. So this is Tuesday's look and you'll be seeing this at 4pm on Tuesday the 22nd, so yeah, stay tuned for that. So the first thing I want to show you came in a box like this and I've taken it out of the box already and this was £10. This is the mirror. Look at the size of this mirror. It is incredible. I'm not going to show you the other side because it will probably, there you go, blind you. <laughs> but it looks like Monica's door and this was £10 and I absolutely love it. It is made of plastic. I don't like holding handheld mirrors but... I'm actually glad I've got one so I'm going to do this little DIY and just like somehow make a stand for this but yeah I can't wait for this and the stand idea was Carly's idea and when I make that stand I'll put it on my insta stories but yeah um I'm just so in love with this mirror I've got nothing more to say than I would never buy a mirror so for me to buy one you know it's absolutely incredible they also came out with three makeup bags. They're eight pounds each, but I decided not to get them because I don't really use makeup bags. However, they do have scrunchies. So on the pink one is lobsters. Then on the black one is just the Friends logo. And then on the gray one is monkeys. And that's obviously because of Marcel. But yeah, I wasn't gonna buy these and they were out of stock on Revolution. Then the next day they came in stock on Beauty Bay and that's when I got the mirror and I was just thinking, have to, absolutely have to. So this is what they look like up close. They are gorgeous, I must admit, absolutely gorgeous. And they're um really tight. You know some you don't have a, sh like, they're quite, the Primark ones are quite loose. These are quite tight, so they'll hold your hair up quite nicely. Don't know if I mentioned, but these were six pounds. So I've kind of put them in collections like this. So I've got a lip gloss, which is Rachel, a lipstick that's Rachel, her palette as well, but then Ross's lip gloss. So the lip glosses and the lipsticks are six pounds, and then the palettes are eight pounds. So Ross's one actually has Marcel all over the lid, and it's like this fuchsia pink. Oh, wow and there it is swatched such a lovely bright pink this would go so well over that Maybelline number 30 romantic lipstick then we have Rachel's gloss which is clear and it has central perk all over the lid not that you'll see that but oh yeah you can they also say their names which I think is amazing then the lipstick just has the picture of the chair well the sofa that they all sit on in the calf calf coffee place central part basically and then the lipsticks so they look like the satin kiss lipsticks they have her name on them and then on the other side it says friends x revolution and then rachel's lipstick is more cool toned it's like a cool toned purple which isn't a shade I usually go for, and the shade is on the lid, but I would wear it. Then we have Rachel's palette, which looks incredible, let me just tell you. It has the sofa, the whole of the central perk on the front, 
Um, I did say in my Tuesday video that I don't like the sticker there. I would rather it on the back. And with these, I'm not getting rid of the boxes. As much as the palette looks exactly like the box, I'm just not getting rid of it. And this is what Rachel looks like. Now, I'm not going to swatch this because I'm going to do a dedicated video where I swatch it. And it's just very nude, which with like some pops, pops of like girly shimmers. And I just think it would look so nice. And the quality of these is insane, I'm telling you. And again, the eyeshadow palettes are £8. How insane. Then I put Phoebe's collection together. Now I've put Joey's gloss with that because obviously Joey and Phoebe are the only two that didn't get together with someone. How do I put it? Rachel had Ross and I had Monica and Phoebe and Joey. Well, Joey didn't have anyone in the end, but Phoebe did. So yeah, let's start off with the palette. The palette has her iconic yellow taxi on there. And it's in this like pastel blue packaging, whereas Rachel was in like that nudie pink. And again, it's exactly the same as the box. But look at that. It's just so nice. It's very like pastel. There is more shimmers in this than mattes, but in the Monica one it isn't like that. I didn't even read out the shades from Rachel, but I'll do that in the video. But for Phoebe, it's Smelly Cat, Lobster, Triplet, Ice, Flaky, Buffet, Science Boy, Bike, and Ditsy. I feel like they should have put something in here for Mike. Would that have been Ice? I can't remember. But yeah, it looks incredible. I just can't wait to play with this one. Then Joey's lip gloss has sandwiches all over it and oh, this one is another favourite of the lip glosses. It's like a baby pink. I just, I love this one and I think Monica is definitely one of my favourite glosses. Then Phoebe's is this rich burgundy shade I'd say and she has lobsters all over her lid. And again it's the pastel colour just like her palette. Oh my god, look how rich that shade is. This is a definite autumnal lip. I definitely would have to powder around my lips so that it didn't bleed. Then we have her little lipstick and oh my god, it's got the taxi on it. it has the same shade that it's going to be on the inside, on the lid. And then it says Phoebe. Again, this is in the satin kiss packaging. Matches the gloss so well. It's got like a kiss on the bullet, like here. Now we have Monica's collection. So in Monica's collection, I have put Chandler's lip gloss, of course, and he's had <laughs> the turkey on them. And this is like a nice, again, light pale pink shade. Well, this is very light. I'll definitely need a dark lip liner with that one. Then Monica's gloss is my absolute favourite out of all of them. I just wish... There wasn't glitter particles in them and she has obviously the her door um like the little frame that's on her door on the lid so this is what this looks like this one is very very glittery spoiler you can feel the glitter but after a while it melts down then monica's collection is again with the door frame on the packaging so we have a lipstick which comes in this pastel purple packaging and of course there's the shade, there's her colour, oh I forgot to show you her name. I'm kind of glad they came out with a lipstick selection first because I must admit lipsticks and highlight are my absolute fave. So there's the colour, it is a nice pink and all these lipsticks are like matte, um, like a satin matte, which is great. But the star of her collection has to be the eyeshadow palette. Again, it's in this purple packaging. It's not more pastel, it is like a, just a purple. And look, look at that. Look at the eyeshadows. So the names are Clean Chef Gela, Chicken Twins Frizzy, Bing Obsessive and Thanksgiving. But to be fair, I feel like the main attraction for this whole collection is this big palette. Now obviously it's like one of those director cuts, oh, I never know what they're called, but this was £20 
again I wish this was on the back I will try and see after I filmed look with everything if I can put this on the back so it doesn't spoil it but the packaging and it feels really really weighted now for this it comes in the tin like the forever flawless palette so I think you get like 24 eyeshadows if I can show you if it'll open so you get 24 eyeshadows and three highlights it's like the be perfect palette but I'm kind of glad there's some highlights in there which means oh I could have used it for this look but when I do a look with this palette I will be sure to use these highlights I'm probably more intrigued by Mr Heckle in the middle but you've got all the names of the main characters at the top then you've got some like Gunther, Carol, Janice, Ben, Emma, Richard, Estelle, Fun Bubble, Paolo, Marcel, all those kinds of names all in here and there's a lot of neutrals in here, a lot of shimmers so we'll see what we can do with this palette and this will probably be the last video of the week so this will be next Sunday's video because we are going to be doing like I said a whole week of friends and I just can't wait literally so excited for this collection to use this collection I've done one video with this look and I'm so happy so yeah can't wait and do you know what revolution has smashed it I wasn't too sure at first when I kept seeing all the little like spoilers from trend mood and I was like hmm really not sure about this collection but no they smashed it and I'm ready for round two because round two looks even better I'm telling you I'm so excited for round two so if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up please subscribe down below because there is a giveaway coming up 500 and I will see you next time bye guys